Hello, hello, this is D, Judge of the Awesome, back with another mod guy. Today is Drawers. Drawers is an amazing storage mod, which allows you to store 32 stacks of a single item in this block right here. Yeah, it's uh, pretty useful. And keep in mind, this is a Vault Hunters mod pack guide. It is still relevant to you if you are not playing Vault Hunters, but the recipes and some functionality are going to be Vault Hunters specific. So how many types of drawers are there? There is a one by one, a one by two, and a two by two that also come in half size variants if you want this cute little look. The 1x1 stores one type of item, the 1x2 stores two types of items, and the 2x2 stores four types of items. The way you put items inside of a drawer is pretty simple. You just right click onto the drawer that you want to put it in. On 1x2s and 2x2s, the position of your cursor does matter. To take things out, you just give it a little bit of a punch. Oh yeah. You can also import up to an entire stack with your fist. And if your inventory is absolutely full of an item, double right click and it will put it all inside of the drawer. Holding shift and punching will pull out a stack at a time. Drawers can only hold so much. The full one by one holds 32 stacks of an item. The one by two holds 16 stacks of each item and the 2x2 two two holds 8 stacks of each item. The half 1x1 one one holds 16 stacks of one item, the half 1x2 one two holds 8 stacks of two items, and the half 2x2 two two holds 4 stacks. That being said, say you have a 4x4 four four and you've already filled up this one slot, see, can't put any more in it, I can still set another slot to be the same one. So if you wanted to, for some reason, have all four of these be your spruce planks, you absolutely could. Now that we know that drawers can only hold a limited amount of items, you're probably gonna want to know how many you have in them. And that is where the quantify key comes. Right click a drawer with the quantify key and it'll tell you right at the bottom how many of your items you have. Say your carrot farm has completely overflown and you can no longer stuff any more into this block. Don't despair, you don't have to make another drawer, you can instead make an upgrade. Each upgrade starts with an upgrade base. In Vault Hunters, to make four of them, you'll need some magic silk, Laramar gems, chromatic steel ingots, and another drawer in the center that will make four upgrade templates. There are plenty of upgrades to choose from, starting from the upgrade tier one, which increases the storage by two times the base value. There is the upgrade tier two, and remember, these recipes are Vault Hunters only, so the tier 2 having Chromatic Iron Ingot, if you're not in Vault Hunters, it's not going to cost that. Upgrade Tier 3, Upgrade Tier 4, Upgrade Tier 5 is the highest one, 32 times base value. For the biggest bang for your buck in Vault Hunters, I would suggest the Upgrade Tier 3s. It is 8 times the base value, it just costs some Vault Essence and Chromatic Iron Ingot. Very, very cheap. You can stack them on top of each other. All upgrades are stacking. Drawers have a certain amount of upgrade slots. I can show you that right now, actually. You can check that by shift right clicking a drawer and boom, here are all of the upgrade slots. So we can absolutely fill this drawer with tier three upgrades. And you can see with Whalia on, the stack limit is now 1,792. So your carrot farm is gonna be producing four days. Upgrades can be placed on all types of drawers, increasing their stack limit of each respective drawer. Aside from storage increase upgrades, there are a few more. There is the storage downgrade, which sets the storage stack to one. One stack, that's all the drawer can hold, could be useful as like an item buffer in certain farms. We have the ever useful void upgrade. Yes, one of these babies will make it so additional items placed in the drawer over its maximum are destroyed. Great for filtering your items out. With a fill level upgrade, you can see a little progress bar as to how full your drawer is. Very nifty if you don't want to have to remember all of the different levels. And an illumination upgrade, will make sure that your drawer is always bright. Even at night, you'll never have trouble seeing it. There are a few more keys that need to be gone over. The quantify key shows and hides how much is inside of it. However, a drawer key will put a little lock on the top of the drawer, and you'll see, as I remove all of the carrots, it still remembers that only carrots get to go in this slot. If I try to put anything else in this slot, 
like these big yellow item pipes, nothing will happen. However, once I double right clicked, it sucked up all my carrots, except for this stack. That seems to be a creative bug, so just ignore that. If you're looking for a little bit more secrecy, or perhaps just some aesthetics, you can use a concealment key to hide it all away. A drawer key is crafted as such in Vault Hunters. A quantify key is crafted from a drawer key, as well as a concealment key is crafted from a drawer key. By far one of the best parts of drawers is the drawer controller and the drawer controller slaves. They link drawers together like so. You can place a network of drawers between them. They can be any type of drawer, any size, in any order, as long as they don't extend more than 12 blocks out in any direction though. This drawer controller is the center of a 12 by 12 by 12 cube that can hold as many drawers as you'd like. And you'll see with it, all of these drawers are now linked. We can lock them all from the one controller and quantify them all from the one controller. And you guessed it, we can insert every item into the controller, except for items that don't have a place in the drawers, they won't go in. You can also use the controller for hopper and pipe inputs and outputs. So this is how you connect a drawer network into a simple storage system, applied energistic system, or refined storage system. A drawer controller slave is the extension of a drawer controller. The player cannot right click items into the drawer system, but it'll interact with pipes and hoppers just like the drawer controller. And since there can only be one drawer controller per drawer network, a drawer controller slave solves the issue of needing more than one access point. Keeping in mind that the drawers around a drawer controller must be connected, sometimes you don't want to have to build a big old line of drawers just to connect to this one. So, drawers has an awesome block for you called the trim block. Trim is very, very cheap. It's literally just wood and acts basically as a connector. You can't put items inside of it. You can't use keys. Get out of here. You can't use keys on it either, however, it does connect them up. So if I put a little carrot all the way over here, golden carrots, pumpkins, and here and here, and I right click, you'll see even the carrot gets added to the drawer. I can lock it and unlock it. It's all connected, even though it's not connected by a line of drawers, it's connected by a line of trim. Drawers also comes with a really cool feature, the compacting drawer. With it, you can take an item that can be crafted down into a block form and place it inside of the drawer. It will then extend up to two block form crafts. So the iron ingots can be crafted in a three by three to an iron block, and the iron blocks can be crafted into a three by three into a compressed iron block. And now if I put all of my iron into it, you can see I can actually pick and choose which item I want to pull out so the drawer can basically automatically craft for me iron blocks from iron ingots, iron ingots from iron blocks, compressed iron blocks, it's amazing. And they can all be placed back into the system. These guys can hold 128 of the most compressed version of the block. So 128 stacks of compressed iron blocks, yeah. These guys can hold quite a bit. That being said, they are very expensive with black chromatic steel, chromatic steel, and a lot of Laramar. Make sure you're ready and willing to make this upgrade. They can receive storage upgrades like any other drawer and be connected to a drawer controller like any other drawer. Ultimate convenience. But drawers are still not done. There's a lot of aesthetics that you can have. You can build a drawer out of every single wood type in the game. And even better than that, you can make the frame drawers. Anything from the drawers mod that can be placed as a block can be framed. All you have to do is surround it in sticks. So any drawer surrounded in sticks, any compacting drawer, any half drawers, any two by twos, any one by twos, just surround them in sticks and you'll get a frame drawer. Frame drawers are purely aesthetic and they allow you to create drawers that look any way you want. Here's how it works. Place your drawer in the center of your crafting grid. The upper left corner determines the base of the drawer, sand. The top of your drawer determines the trim, which I'm gonna do raw gold. And the left of your drawer 
determines its face. So you can see, we now have a frame drawer that has the face of a coconut log, the trim of raw gold, and the base of sand. Pretty interesting. You can combine any full block into a drawer and make some really beautiful designs. And that, my friends, is drawers, a simple but powerful modding solution. Combine it with a GUI mod through link cables or external storages, and you have got an amazing, amazing, amazing mod. Yes, remember, as long as the drawer or the drawer controller it is connected to is connected to a GUI system like Simple Storage, Applied Energistics, or Refined Storage, it will show up in your GUI. Pretty awesome. Anyways, thank you so much for watching. If you've enjoyed this guide, check out my other ones, and there will be more in the future. Next up is going to be a pretty big one I think you guys are going to be excited for. But in the meantime, I'll see you in the next episode. Goodbye, everybody!